Before we can begin learning how to use AutoCAD, we need to install the software, assuming you haven't done that already. If you have, then you're probably fine just moving along to the next section without any issues. If you haven't and you want some help setting it up beforehand, then this section is for you. Before you begin installing the software, make sure you have the file to install it with. Also, make sure you have your serial number and product key. If you don't have those serial numbers, then you're just going to use a 30-day trial of AutoCAD, which is perfectly fine for the purposes of this video. I'll show you how to install it using either method. So there are essentially two different ways to get your software to install AutoCAD with. One is as a digital download from the Autodesk website. Another is from installation media, like a thumb drive, a jump drive, or one is from a DVD drive or CD. So if you've downloaded the file directly from Autodesk's website or via a link from an email they've sent you once you've purchased the software, you should get a file that looks something like this, AutoCAD 2015, English, if you're using English, Windows 64-bit, if you're using 64-bit, and it's an EXE file. Once you get that file, double-click it to run it. And this will extract your installation files to a folder called C colon slash Autodesk on your hard drive. Do that. I've already done that to save some time. Now when you do that, find that file and folder. And there should be a folder in here called setup.exe. Once you find that file, you can run that file to install AutoCAD. Now if you have a CD, DVD, or a jump drive, a flash drive, it should start up automatically. If it doesn't, then just browse to the proper folder, wherever your disk is or your thumb drive, and you should find a folder that looks something like this, and it should say setup.exe. Once you find that file, double-click it and run it. Make sure to give permission to your computer to install the program. Once you insert your installation CD or DVD, or you put in your installation thumb drive, it should automatically start up and bring you to this page. And again, if it doesn't, then browse to where I showed you and run that setup.exe file. And all of those methods will bring up this type of window. Now, this is the installation window for AutoCAD 2015. You have several different buttons and things I want to show you here before we get started. These two items here, the Create Deployment and the Install Tools and Utilities, are more for CAD managers and IT managers for larger corporations that have a lot of CAD users, workstations, and licenses of AutoCAD to manage. So if you're just one person or just a couple of people and all you want or need to do is install AutoCAD directly onto a workstation, then this is the button for you. It's a big, giant install button. Now, before we click that, I want to show you a couple of these other files here. We have the README file. Click it, it will open up your browser and bring you to a web page that gives you a little bit of information about your version of AutoCAD that you're going to install. This might include some last minute bits of information that Autodesk didn't get into the install package that they delivered to everybody. So, it may be something important on here that you might need to know about. The button here in the middle is the systems requirements. Again, this opens up a web browser and it takes you directly to Autodesk's website and it talks about the hardware requirements for your computer. So this is the bare minimum. So if your machine is not as powerful as this, you're not going to be able to run it. In fact, this is, again, an absolute bare minimum requirement just to turn on AutoCAD and use some of its basic functions. This is not the ideal situation by any means. You need something much newer and more powerful than this, really, to use AutoCAD on a higher end level. But for all purposes of this training video, these minimum requirements should suit you just okay. And this last button here is the installation help. This is a website that Autodesk has put together that has a lot of helpful information if you have any questions on installing AutoCAD or any of their products. Now once we're ready, we click on the install button. And at any time, though, if you want to exit or stop the installation process, move down here to the exit button and click it, and that will stop your installation process. This is the end user license agreement and services contract. You have to accept this to be able to install AutoCAD. So make sure you click the accept button. Now, I suggest that you do read this. I know it's really long and difficult to read. And just make sure that you do agree with it. And if you do, select the I accept button and then click next. This is where we will make some settings for the license type and enter in your product key information. This is an English version that I'm installing and right now I don't have any other options. If you did, they would show up here. My license type that I'm installing is a standalone license type. That means I'm installing one license that I have on one machine. 
a network license is something different altogether. It allows a company to buy multiple network licenses, but install it on as many machines as they want to. And then they share the license across the machines. That works well if you have a case where you have CAD users who only need to use AutoCAD a few times a day or a few times a week or even a month or so. They're not using it all day long. So that's a nice thing. I'm assuming, though, for this video that you're using a standalone license. Now, if you're going to use this for just a 30-day trial, you need to select this option. That will put AutoCAD on your computer for 30 days. Once the 30 days expires, you can no longer use AutoCAD. You can't access it at all. You can still get to all of the files that you've created and used. Those are yours. But the software will only work for 30 days. And that calendar day starts once you install AutoCAD. So it's not like the first of the month or the middle of the month, a date type of a thing. It's 30 days from the day you install it. So make sure you don't install it now and then wait a week or two to start using it because then you have lost that amount of time on your trial period. If you have purchased a full license of AutoCAD, you can enter in your serial number information here. Now the product key is typically the same on all versions of AutoCAD or whatever the product is. So I'm going to enter that one in and it will give you a green check mark when you've entered it in correctly. Now I'm going to type in my serial number here. Once you've entered in the proper serial number, it will give you a green check mark and then we're ready to click next. Here's where you go and make some selections for the items that you want to install. It will tell you here in the bottom right how much disk space is being used by your installation. This will tell you on the right here how much room you have on your computer's hard drive. I have plenty of room. So I'm going to install everything. And I suggest that you do install everything unless, of course, size is a problem for you. Then you can turn some of the things off. I'm going to install Autodesk 360 because I find that to be a very useful tool. Autodesk 360 is a free service provided by Autodesk. It's cloud-based. You can store files there. You can back up files there automatically through AutoCAD. It helps you to manage any applications that you purchase from AutoCAD, and it also allows you to share files with other people throughout the world. You can also save your customized settings to your Autodesk 360 account, and you can reinstall them on another computer, or if you have to reinstall AutoCAD, you can reestablish your custom settings right away. Autodesk Recap is a 3D visualization raw data formatting tool. It's a third party tool that Autodesk has created that comes extra. It doesn't work inside AutoCAD, but it's outside of it. If you've done 3D scanning of objects or rooms or buildings even, Autodesk Recap will take that raw data, process it, and put it into a format that AutoCAD can look at, giving you a 3D model of the environment or the item that you've scanned. So that's something that you can turn off if you don't think you're going to use that at all. Now remember, anything you don't install now, you can always go back and reinstall later on. Now for the Autodesk AutoCAD 2015 settings. Again, I suggest that you turn everything on. Just click on the buttons here, 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 and here, and that will allow you to install them. Different installation types, typical or custom. Typical will be perfectly fine for this training video and for everything that you want to do, and it's going to take up a little bit less space. Make sure you have Express Tools turned on and you can create a desktop shortcut automatically if that's what you want to do. And typically, most people do. Now, I want to customize this a little bit. I'm going to click this green button here and that makes sure that everything is going to be installed. You can see my disk space requirement went up just a little bit. And if I click it here, it turns all of them off and my requirement for my room really drops. So, but again, I suggest that you turn all those on. Now, if there were any service packs available, it would let me know here and it would give me the opportunity to download them and install them right away. So now that I finished this, I'm going to click the install button and Autodesk will go through its various settings and setups and make sure that I have everything I need. It has to install some backend type things like DirectX and C++. If they're already there and they're the latest versions, then it will just leave it alone. But if you don't have them on your computer, it will go ahead and install them for you. Now it's going to take it a few minutes here, so I'm going to pause the video for a while and we'll come back when it's all done. Once the installation is finished and everything is successful, this is the screen that the Autodesk installer will show you. It'll tell you that you've successfully installed everything. It'll be nice blues and greens. If you get something that has a red or red X on it, and it'll tell you, hey, there was an error, and it will often tell you exactly what went wrong. You may just need to reboot your computer and try to reinstall those items one more time. 
But otherwise, everything is good. You can scroll through your entire list here, make sure it is okay. Once you're finished, just click on the Finish button. Now you may get this prompt or you may not. If so, then I suggest you go ahead and restart your computer at this time and get started working in AutoCAD.